So let's quickly understand zero inverter again in terms of functionality. So what's going to happen is this is my PMOS whose input is grounded and this is my NMOS which input is A ground V out and this is nothing but VDD. Now let's see what's happening. Now we know that this transistor is a PMOS and this transistor is an NMOS so let's call it P1 and N1. Now what's going to happen is when A is equal to 0 we know that the truth table for an inverter is like this. If A is 0 output is logic 1, if A is 1 output is logic 0. This is number of digital values. If you have to talk in terms of analog values we say that if my VDD is 1.8 0 to 0.9 is 0 will be termed as logic 0 ideally and greater than 0 0.9 to 1.8 would be termed as logic 1 ideally. So if A is 0 that means my NMOS transistor is off and my PMOS is on because we know that NMOS turns on only when a logic high is applied. P1 and PMOS is on when a logic 0 is applied and this is always grounded in 0 circuits so P is on. So my output is nothing but 1 because PMOS is on and will try to pull the output towards VDD. Now the case changes when A is 1 N1 is on because an NMOS transistor turns on when logic 1 is applied. So N1 is on but P is also grounded. So P is also on. So what's going to happen is P is trying to pull the output towards VDD at the same time N is trying to pull the output towards ground. So both of them are trying to pull the output to their respective potentials. Okay mind you what do we want at the output when A is equal to 1 we want 0 at the output. How do we ensure that output is 0 and not 1? It's a very very simple thing. Suppose you have a piece of diamond which is kept at the center and there is a team A and there is a team B. Both of them are trying to pull this diamond towards their respective team. Who will have the diamond in their hands? It's a very simple analogy. A has 3 team members. B has 2 team members. The weight of each person in team A is 30 kgs so there are a total of 90 kgs of weight and they are playing a tug of war match with B which has 15 kgs members and there are two members so there is a 30 kg. So 90 kgs playing a tug of war match with 30 kgs and whoever wins will get this piece of diamond. It's very very simple and common sense that a person who is stronger should win and should be able to purchase or pick up this piece of diamond. Similarly in circuit theory also if I make N1 stronger than P1 then what's going to happen is I will get an output which I can it would not be an exact zero mind you because P1 is also on it would not be able to pull the output completely towards zero but it will be able to pull an output in the range of 0 to 0 0.9 which we can term it as logic 0. So N1 has to be stronger than P1. What does this mean? N1 stronger than P1 means in electronics here we saw the weights as the parameter of strength. In electronics it means that the strength is given by W by L. So W by L of N1 should be greater than W by L of P1. If this condition is satisfied while we do the designing then zero circuits will work perfectly. Means it will not be still able to pull a complete zero at the output but definitely it can produce a value which can be interpreted as logic zero. So similarly we can understand how a zero NMOS NAND would work, zero NMOS NOR would work and we have already seen the schematic. Now we go ahead and understand what is the drawback of a zero circuit.